What's up, people? Thank you so much for all the love you guys give me. I really, really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much for liking the egg curry video so much. I really appreciate you guys. Um, guys, you know, I want to share something with you guys today. Um, um, today, well, to begin with, Happy Navratri to all my Indian friends, uh, um, all my Gujarati friends and, uh, and North Indian friends. I know you guys are are very big on this festival so happy Navratri to everyone um, on the very first day of Navratri I had an um, I had an amazing uh, amazing life opening um, eye-opening experience um, uh, one more time I came um, I came too close to uh, too close to um, to losing my life um, I had an accident on the freeway um, uh, going close to um, let's just say 65 plus miles an hour. That's uh, for my my people, my my friends. That uh, that doesn't follow miles. That follows kilometer. That's over 120 uh, kilometers per hour. Uh, now the reason for sharing that with you it's because um, I want everyone to uh, I want everyone to realize that the life that we have it's a very precious life and. Uh, and you know, thank everyone in the life. Tell everyone that you know, uh, the people you love, people you care about. Uh, you show them that you care about them. You love them. Uh, it's um, life is uncertain, guys. We can lose it any time. Um, and you know, this experience just reminded me one more time that uh, that I need to take care of the people that cares about me. Um, I need to take care of people that uh, that loves me, and I need to let the people I um, I love. I need to let them know that I love them too. So, please do that as well. Again, happy Navratri to everyone. At the same time, I want to thank everyone for keeping me in their prayers. And uh, without you guys' prayers, um, you know I wouldn't be alive. So, so I want to thank you guys. Thank you so much um, for today's recipe. What we're making. Um, I'm bringing a recipe for you. Um, it's gonna be a quick recipe. Um, let's say you have a you have a guest coming over, um, and they just let you know last minute that hey, we're coming over. If you can make some food for us, um, this is a recipe you can make. You can get done with this recipe in pretty much like ten minutes. Um, so without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the the recipe. Let's make you some paneer burji, one of the easiest recipe you can make out there. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do, I have butter and oil in here. Um, I just let it melt a little bit. So after that, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add our jeera to it. So just a little bit of jeera. And we're going to let our jeera crackle. Um, should take uh, no more than one or two, uh, two seconds, a few, just few seconds for jeera to crackle in a hot oil. And once your jira start crackling, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, add our chilies and uh, and onions to it. As I said, this recipe it's gonna be a super quick recipe, uh, very very easy, um, and your guests that you're you're hosting they're gonna love it too. Um, so. <clears throat> Let's get this recipe going for you. Now my jira is crackling at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and add my green chilies. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions in it that, uh, in there as well. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and cook onions and, uh, and chilies in there for a minute. Um, as soon as the, the color change for the onions, we don't have to, uh, we don't have to deep fry them. As soon as the color change for the onions, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and add, our, add our tomatoes to it. Alright guys, so our onions are, um, are cooked. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add our tomatoes to it. And I've just finely chopped onions and tomatoes and that's all I've done to them. Uh, now we're going to let our tomatoes cook for... Um, tomatoes doesn't take too long to cook, so it's just going to be about 20-30 seconds before it gets done. So we're just gonna go out and cook the tomatoes very quick, and then there are uh, we're gonna go out and add some spices to it, um, and then I'm gonna share uh, one or two tricks with you that I use to make my paneer burji look exactly like how you get it in the market. All right, guys. So now at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do salt to taste. Now I'm not using a lot of salt because today I'm using salted butter. 
Um, I'm using Amul butter and Amul butter is usually salted butter. Uh, for my non-Indian friends that don't know what Amul butter is, uh, pretty much Amul butter is just um, just one of the Indian products. It's, it's a butter made in India, that's all it is. A very famous brand, everyone from India loves Amul butter. Um, now at this point what I'm going to do, go ahead and add a little bit of turmeric powder. Uh, as I say, I love it, so why not a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of dhania powder. We're going to go ahead and add our Kashmiri chili. Uh, usually um, the paneer burji, it's not that spicy, so we're going to make sure that we don't make it too spicy. Um, now at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of garam masala. Just a pinch of garam masala in there. We're going to give this a good mix. Now if you, if you have ever eaten uh, paneer burji at a daba, you would know that the, the burji from daba is very very red. Now a um, lot of the time what they do is they use red food coloring. Um, I don't like to use food colors, so what we're going to do to get that red color and a little bit of sweetness to it is we're going to go ahead and at this point, after giving it a good mix, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of tomato ketchup and we're using sweet tomato ketchup. Um, we're not going to use Maggi, uh, we're just going to use regular sweet tomato ketchup. I'm not sharing the brand with you because I'm not getting paid for it. Um, but we're just going to add a tiny bit of tomato ketchup. And with that, since the, the pre-made tomato ketchup, since they have a little bit more sourness to them, we're just going to add about one and a half tablespoon of sugar in there just to cut down the, the sourness to it. And now at this point, we're going to give it a good mix and let our ketchup cook just a little bit and now I'm going to go ahead and lower my heat put it on a low to medium heat and just for 30 more seconds I'm going to let my ketchup cook and while it's cooking what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some more butter to it so I'm adding just a little bit more butter the reason why we're going to add more butter with this it's uh, the butter would give that creaminess and richness to your um, to your uh, paneer burji. All right, guys. Now at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, add our shredded paneer to it. Um, I have shredded my paneer. You don't have to shred the paneer. You can just crumble it up, and that would work too. Um, um, it, it doesn't really have to be shredded paneer. It does look. It does taste better. It does look better if you use the shredded paneer. Um, so if you have a shredder, try using a shredded paneer. If not, you can just crumble it up and that's completely okay as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my paneer to it and go ahead and give it a mix. Um, and then two more steps and we're all done. Alright guys, so I've mixed it up all together. As you can see, my paneer burji looks exactly like how you get it in a market. Uh, when you get it on a daba, when you get it at... Uh, at a restaurant in India, this is exactly what the color would look like. This is how you would get your paneer, uh, paneer burji. So use my tricks, you know, it's gonna work out for you. Now the last two things we're gonna add is, of course, we're gonna go ahead and add some uh, kasuri methi. So I'm just gonna go ahead and crumble my kasuri methi on top of that. And then the last thing I'm adding on there is some coriander. Coriander is dhania. 
So just a little bit of finely chopped coriander. Now we're gonna give this a good mix and pretty much the food is ready. All right guys, so this is how you want your paneer, uh, paneer burji to look like. Um, it looks exactly like the market. Uh, it actually tastes better than it looks. So um, guys, as you know, the food is ready. I'm not waiting on you. Thank you again for always liking, sharing, subscribing. Please keep on liking, sharing, subscribing the video. I really appreciate your support. And I do want to thank you guys again for always supporting me and keeping me in your prayers. You guys have no idea how much I care about you guys. Thank you for all the love. I love you guys as well. Food is ready. Not waiting on you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.